Hello everyone, my succulent viewers, succulent friends, and subscribers. Happy weekend to everyone. So right now guys, I'm here in my favorite spot, which is my shelving area. So our video for this weekend, I would like to share to you an updates of all my succulent arrangement or tapestry that I have done for the past few months. And at the moment here in South Australia, we are already in the second month of winter and we only have a month to go and hooray spring is fast approaching so guys don't go anywhere please join me and let's check the condition of this succulent arrangement or succulent tapestry um, project before this winter season is over but guys before i start i would like to ask you a favor if you're new in my channel please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time you have a new video and also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment in my comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can So let's start over here guys so this area here is my arrangement or tapestry that is very low maintenance so as you see there's no much changes it's still beautiful and growing healthy even though we don't have a lot of sunshine happening lately but this area here is really surviving well my viral wine cactus is really uh, doing well and the aloe over here is growing nicely there's few weeds growing but not as much and then um over here the aloe is also growing nicely let's have a closer look over here so these are all some gasterias and aloes that i planted over here if you're just new in my channel so this is really a very low maintenance project that i have done this year and look at this um euphorbia i think it's a euphorbia and it's doing well my ionium sunburst it's growing nicely but there is these bulbs growing so i haven't got all the bulbs out when i first planted these but I noticed guys that over here I have a casual tea so maybe it's because been covered by this Ionium and didn't get a lot of aeration happening there so shame that I lost one here you go but it's alright uh, it's not so bad because I only lost one and look at my it's a real elegance guys it's still looking good and very compact but i noticed there is a leaf here rotting but not too bad anyway um and here it is now we are expecting another rain tonight it is like five to ten mils of rain and the rest of the week is also raining so we are still not out of the woods of the weather um, still very cold and some other times some other days are frosty but this over here is doing well and i also have more i have this actually really elegance here mm, beautiful and it's very compact so if you want to plant a succulent guys that will go into um survive in winter weather and frost hail um try the etcheria elegance so they are very hardy and they grow compact that's what i love with this etcheria elegance so let's check this other succulent rice bed garden that i made over here let's have a closer look so look at this one guys my aloe and look how pretty is that look at the color gorgeous color 
Here you go. Beautiful. Very lovely color. All right. So that's the aloe. It's a very big aloe. Here it is. Now look at this Ionium. I love Ionium, one of my favorite succulent to use in my arrangement. Look at the color, guys. Gorgeous. It really pops out in a bed garden. So over here. Now let's have a closer look. So you notice that the Ionium Kiwi, it's really popping out. There it is. Now, now um, the cactus over here in this corner, it's doing well. I have another um, Ionium here, that's Ionium Vela. It's not coloring up yet. The Ionium Sunburst, it's so beautiful as well. Love that color, that yellow green color together mix up. It's beautiful. And then my here my jelly bean this is red jelly bean still green at the moment but later on on summertime that will turn to very very deep red um i have another ionium sunburst there and again the echeveria elegance really grow nicely in here so i have few weeds popping out there i just have to pull that one and some roses leaf <laughs> so i just have to remove them and then um what else another ionium kiwi colorful and my busy end it's growing nicely over here in the outdoor area now this outdoor area guys is um exposed to the weather condition so i don't have any covering here before but i installed some shade cloth and i will show you later maybe later later on in my video or maybe next week some other time um the imbricata look at the imbricata beautiful growing beautifully as well and the ionium sunburst most the imbricata over here so that is growing nicely as well but i noticed that there are some few lilies coming out now i don't want that lily uh, grow bigger so what i do is i'm going to pull it out there you go because that will going to grow bigger and then it will cover up my beautiful arrangement in here so there's more lily coming out here so i didn't realize that there are lots of um lily bulbs in this bed garden so i need to do some uh, cleaning up later removing all the weeds and that so so that is the update in this side of my bed garden gorgeous all right so next one over here same thing it's growing beautiful now we already experienced guys few days of frost but i'm going to show you what i do when we have a frost uh, morning or frost forecast to protect my succulent here now look at this uh actually agaboy lipstick so beautiful the color the color is amazing look at that gorgeous and i have those little uh, succulents group in there so we have the uh, golden glow another ionium kiwi beautiful so if you want to um, put additional color in your tapestry guys put some ionium kiwi really beautiful and gorgeous and now behind there i put a ionium lemon and lime and then ionium sunburst over there it's gorgeous as well and look at the blue metal guys look at this how gorgeous is that look at the color beautiful color although it's not big 
because it's very exposed in the weather condition now there are lots of you asking me how I make my succulent grow so big so some of them are big and some of them are just right color so I'll let you know later um, some ways that you can make your succulent big so I might just leave this one for now and my PVN look at this gorgeous and some embricada there and this um, Echeria papyrus it's growing nicely in this corner gorgeous and look at the color guys beautiful and these nice Echeria elegance I love Echeria elegance and I have some few of these um, annual plants coming out everywhere but I'll let it ride because it's beautiful and I also have this uh, ruby necklace that is really growing so thick and bushy look at that and it's spreading out all the way and hanging down in this um, concrete here or in the side of the retaining wall and it's flowering at the moment and I have more here so I'm planning to probably put a lot of this all the way if I have room because it's beautiful so yep that's what it looks like from far distance gorgeous gee blue metal really gorgeous beautiful so blue metal guys you can plant it outdoor as long as it is acclimated first before you expose it to the uh, outdoor environment or without protection so over here um, I have some ionium velour over here now this one's not coloring up yet but later later I think first first month of spring I think the color will change and then more ionium over there so I will plot more ionium where there is a vacant spot now over this side it's well it's doing well and look at this big freely here it's growing nicely and beautiful color as well um, but there are some annual uh, plants growing behind it and I just let that one ride and let it grow because this one got a beautiful color and just get some of this few leaf that is dropping on the leaf because we expecting rain later on and we have like five to ten mils of rain um, now there is this rose coming out as well and it start flowering so I'll just let it stay there and this spirit cactus growing nicely more of this jelly bean and more of this jelly bean here look at that guys now this um, Echeveria imbricata there are some leaf that is dried it's just dried not rotting so I'll just have to remove that to avoid from rotting because we are expecting rain now some of this probably affected by the frost burnt by the frost but not too bad see it's still looking good on the middle part and look at this alisum I think alisum alisum <laughs> it's growing nicely there so gorgeous color and another of these um, ruby necklace here you go so it's gorgeous guys isn't it so it seems like they're not affected by the uh, they're not affected by too much rain and the frost but because I protected them somehow so I think that's all for this side now so all in all they are doing well since we are already in the second month of winter but we still have another month before spring comes but I'm happy very happy uh, of the result 
at the moment. It's very windy here, guys. It's so cold. <laughs> so let's find more arrangement that we can update. And look, we have this uh, Weber arrangement that I planted a lot of cactus. Now this Weber, guys, is protected by these um, nursery plastic that they use for the nursery house. And here, and I just put some cable here, and I just put a plastic on top to cover up this arrangement to protect from too much rain and protect from morning frost so here they are look at it it's very uh, healthy and you cannot see any damages happening in there or root rot or rotting happening so gorgeous that this arrangement I love that it's beautiful here it is and I just add this one I just put it there um, Look at that, that's agave, it's growing nicely in there, the blue uh, cactus, peanut cactus, here it is, gorgeous guys, really beautiful arrangement in this corner of my garden, here it is, gorgeous, beautiful. So all in all, I'm very happy as well of this arrangement. Um, low maintenance and i think this will last here for a while because it's not really growing fast beautiful gorgeous gorgeous look at that look at that guys beautiful all right so move on here this wooden raised bed garden let's put this one because i use this to cover my uh, jade over here when we are expecting for frost <laughs> here put this aside now over this one guys my problem here it's not coloring up it's because it's not receiving a lot of sunlight since we don't have sunshine coming out lightly but this Benny Musume it's um, growing nicely as well but it's just not coloring up but it's all right as long as it's healthy and not rotting um, I see some leaf in here so that's the only leaf that is rotting nothing else now this um, curls in here so I see a bit of leaf damage in there oops sorry there you go um, not a lot not too bad um, so let's just check not too bad guys it's still doing well now this one this bed garden here is also protected by this covering that I made uh, to protect it from frost and heavy rain so it's surviving well although it's not giving me a nice beautiful color but at least it's protected and it's not rotting so here's the Agavois Amestro it's very green it's not coloring up but it's all right during summertime I'll move this one somewhere else if it's not getting a sunlight my Echeri Agavois it's still um, my Echeri Agavois it's all right it has a beautiful nice color red tip red edge gorgeous and yeah growing healthy as well and the Echeveria Agavois lipstick this one is not coloring up as well but anyway when we will move this one somewhere else then this will going to color up and there is a little few red tips in there there you go gorgeous um, let's have a look there and check it's doing fine just a little bit of the um, dry leaf because I didn't water this one guys and don't, don't need to water it because it's been raining 
almost every day here in South Australia where I am okay so that's the update of our wooden raised bed garden here it is okay so let's move to another part of my arrangement <laughs> all right so I have over here now this one here our little arrangement in a plastic bird bath the Tokyo Sun um, still there but it's not very colorful it turns into green compared to this one over here still green or neon green but but our Sedevia Leticia is starting to showing a red tips or red margins gorgeous isn't it guys look at that beautiful there you go so no lilac spoon and pvn and i have a little of this chroma here and also i put a little of this lovely rose and mostly our sedivia leticia gorgeous guys isn't it it's beautiful look at that all right so let's check our um vertical garden over here so here's the vertical garden guys now this one is low maintenance as well I didn't do anything much with this but all you can see is like this bronze delight is being affected by a powdery mildew look at that so this one has a mealybug infestation so i just have to cut it off and remove it later on oh. and over here my pvn it's not coloring up because they are not receiving a lot of sunlight at the moment but overall they are doing fine the purple delight gorgeous still gorgeous and this one over here this one is really coloring up here they are um, I haven't done anything over here guys because the weather is so cold and so freezing and it rains almost every day see that there it is oh and look at this my golden glow um i think this is got burned from the frost the other day we have negative one now this one is always affected by the too much rain because um this one has no covering shouldn't do this because we're expecting rain uh later tonight and a lot of rain it's five to ten mils but this will encourage more rotting because it's uh, getting wet or it's wetting the other leaf so i'll just take it out now um just make sure that i remove all the remaining parts of this leaf so it will not um multiply so it will not contribute rotting to the other leaf so i'm going to take this one out later because i'm holding a camera um oh yeah good i i got all of it <laughs> there you go so i just dropped there and i'll just pick it up later here it is but overall still gorgeous now i haven't covered this one when we have the negative zero or negative one sorry negative one frost morning but still surviving um yeah so that's the update of some of the arrangement that I shared to you the past few months. And so when winter time over here, the garden is not really looking good. And look at the water. So this is heavy. I can't even really move this one or just going to push it probably to remove the water like that. okay it's very heavy <laughs> so i let matthew probably um remove the water but it will gather more water anyway guys because tonight is raining 
with 5 to 10 mils and all week it's raining. So what you see here guys is a water that turned into ice. So this video was taken last week. We have a forecast of 1 degree Celsius and this is what happened when we have this frosty morning or icy morning. So what I do is I'm going to uh, cover my succulent with some off-cut shade cloth just like what you see here. I make it sure that I covered all the succulents that are uh, sensitive to this kind of um, weather and just to make it sure they will survive and they will not going to get frostbite or burnt. But I can't cover all of them so some of them are exposed to the frost and just fingers crossed and hope for the best that they will going to um, not get burned and survive with this uh, weather condition that we have uh, during winter season so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoy watching this video and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye